Hey everybody, my name is Nick, and welcome to some Project Zomboid. First and foremost, I hope y'all had a good new year. Secondly, with the bringing in of the new year, I plan on actually doing stuff with the channel this year. So, we're starting that out with some Project Zomboid, and I've got a really, really good idea. So, if you've never played Project Zomboid before, it is a... I'm gonna say tough-as-nails zombie survival game. Really fun. I actually just recently got into it, like, about two weeks ago. I've put a hundred hours into it since then, and it's fantastic. And there are some ideas that I've come up with, that some of my friends have come up with. Um, and I'm gonna do one of those today. So I already have some stuff pre-built. We don't want to load. Let's go to Solo. So the idea, if you, <laughs> if you read the title of the video, I'm going to be playing a deaf character who's not technically blind, because you can't actually be blind, uh, but short-sighted with a lot of other negatives. We've already got it built. The pinball wizard. Please, I hope you all get that reference so bad. Let's go through my character traits. We have deaf, asthmatic, disorganized, because if he can't see very well, he's not storing his stuff and grabbing his stuff very well. All thumbs, same reason. Clumsy, because, well, you're deaf. You don't know if you're making that much noise with your feet. Short-sighted. Slow reader, because... Once again, can't see well. Sunday Driver, once again, can't see well. But we're also a Lumberjack. So we get the Axeman perk. And I went with Brave, Lucky, Sower, Handy, and Strong. Those might not correlate with uh, being very, very unable to see, but that's okay. I needed to have some good things with me. So that's what we're doing. I already have the character pre-built to the Pinball Wizard. Isn't that man beautiful? Just mwah, look at him. Oh, he's so handsome. God, this is gonna suck real bad. <laughs> okay, first things first, we need a weapon. And it looks like we found a screwdriver already. That's a terrible weapon. We're gonna take it. I'd love to find an axe, but something tells me I'm not gonna find an axe just randomly in this house. I'm feeling the not finding of an axe, but there's a griddle pan, at least. Oh my god, fresh cheese? Cheese and lettuce? Definitely one of the most debilitating things about being deaf is just... You can't hear anything, obviously. And that really sucks, because you can't hear when they're breaking down doors, tapping on windows, you can't hear when you set a house alarm off. That's the problems that come with being deaf in this game. Being short-sighted, on the other hand. Huh. That's not going to be too big of a problem. It's going to suck. It's not going to be good, though. I should probably equip that griddle pan I just got. Okay. You're not very skilled in the usage of short, blunt weapons, but we'll see what happens. This is a, not a bad place. It's not a good place to spawn, but at least it's far away from most of the zombies. Oh, I also can't tell when it makes the sound of me splattering them, which sucks. That's okay. I'll get used to it. My god, look at this man. Look at this absolute unit of a man here. Oh gosh. Not even, not even a couple of minutes into the game, and I'm already in a bad position. Get back. I ain't gonna let this happen. I ain't going down easy, man. Got me. Oh. Oh my god, you're kidding me. How many more could there be? Oh god. Stay back. Stay down. By the way, I play this game about as wrongly as you humanly could. I never sneak playing this game pretty much ever. It's always about the murdering. Oh my god. Okay, yeah, I thought this was a great place to spawn, but apparently the amount of zombies here is more than I accounted for. Just back up, there's a fence here. Hopefully they won't have been getting through the fence. Oh god. Get the no, what are you doing? I don't have like protective clothing on and my pan just broke. Oh god. Okay. Well, that pan did not last long. You know what? That's okay. I don't need that frying pan to prove that I'm really good at beating things up. Ooh, a denim shirt. Heck yeah. Well, at least I didn't use the screwdriver and put holes in all the clothing I'm about to tear off of the dead. So that's a bonus, I suppose. We need to get out of here, and we need to find, like, an actual weapon. Anything but a screwdriver. Screwdrivers are so bad. I think I know where I'm going, and there's a lot of zombies. Why there's so many zombies? 
Uh, but the pinball wizard will prevail. He always does. Isn't that right, Mr. Pinball Wizard? There are too many zombies here. There are too many zombies here. Oh, God. What is that? One, two, three. There's one down there somewhere. Oh, God. Four. Oh, Lord. This is a terrible idea. Don't do this. You know what? Actually, no. This is one of the most poor decisions I've ever made. We're running. Running into the trees now. Oh, God. Please, let there be a window. Oh, okay. No, don't run into them, you freaking idiot. Oh, we are about to die really hard. Oh, wait, I'm next to the trailer park? Are you freaking kidding me? That's the best place to be. Not... Oh, that car looks not... No, that car looks terrible. Never mind. Okay. We, do, we, we definitely don't want to be in the trailer park. The amount of zombies in the trailer park is large. Wait. Wait, does that guy have a hunting knife stuck in him? He's got something stuck in him. That's a screwdriver, I think. That or a, I don't know, a fancy fork or something. You have no idea how many times you run into a zombie and there's just like a fancy fork stuck in him. Oh, there's so many. This is not good news for me. Don't trap yourself, Nicholas. Come on, baby. Climb that fence. And now I am exhausted. That's just what Maybe they won't see me go inside of this hu You know what? Everywhere I go, there are zombies. There are so many zombies. I just want it to not be full of zombies. Any magazines in there? No? Okay, thank you. I think my character is can barely jog. Okay, yep. It was really nice knowing y'all, but my character's about to die, so... Unless... Nope. Oh my goodness. You know what? You know what? I'm going for it. I'm going for it. This could be my last hope. It's locked. God dang it. You know what? Screw it. I'm just gonna wander off and die in the woods. Like a man. Wait, 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 wait. Uh-oh. Something is bleeding. Some internal part of me is bleeding. That's great. Come on. Bust open the window. Dude, you broke the lock? You moron. <laughs> um, scratched and bleeding. I thought I ripped off my clothing. I have to be standing still to do that too, don't- Oh god. Um, take off your socks, rip your clothing, do it. Do it now before you bleed out from a little scratch. Uh, I won't go home. Oh my god. This is inf- I'm dead. I'm dead. They're gonna catch me. This is as fast as I can move right now. You know what? You know what? I like to think- that pinball wizard is not exhausted to the point where he can barely walk. I like to think of it as the fact that he is such a chad that he just doesn't care. He's all like, yeah, there's like, I don't know, 20 zombies behind me? Yeah, I'll just walk. Yeah, that's cool. I feel like they're still right behind me, aren't they? Yeah, oh my god. Yup, I am sorry, brother, but you are gonna pay the blood price. <laughs> Use the trees for cover. Jump the fence, big boy. You've got this. You've got this. You might... Oh, Nick, you might actually be able to do something. No, no, no. Oh, that startled the crap out of me. <laughs> I will not let this happen. I will not let this happen. I will take all the necessary precautions. I will not let this happen. Okay, we're coming up to another fence here. I'm going to hop it, and I'm going to see... God, please let there just be not any zombies here. For the love of God, and all that is holy. Let, no, 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 okay. That's wonderful, that's great game. Really, thanks. But there's very few. Maybe I can get lucky. Nope, didn't think so. Open the window. Open the window. What are you doing? Come on. Get that window open. Get it open. Get it open. They just broke through. They just broke through. Are you kidding me? Okay. I'm going to check out this window more so. I'm through. Close window. Close curtains. Crouch. Crouch. Oh, you magnificent man, you. How did we come? How did we? How did we do this? How did we how did we accomplish this? 
I can't hear them breaking the door down if they're going to decide to do that. I can see the door move if they decide to do that. Though. <gasps> Are we going to fast forward for a second? I've got to get my endurance back. Please don't just start, like, having hundreds of zombies. Oh, okay. That, yeah, I know that that zombie is there. I literally just saw it. You do not have to do that, game. There's no need for you to do that. I don't know why you do that. There's still a lot of zombies here. <laughs> oh, you've got to be joshing me. Yeah, that's about exactly what I figured there'd be. Just, oh, come on! Every time, every time I push, like, a zombie back, another one just pops out of freaking the ground. I'm not gonna let this happen. I refuse. Refusal is key to winning anything. And I refuse to die. <laughs> oh wait, maybe I shouldn't be crouching. Oh, you've gotta be. Yeah, yeah, this is fair. This is great game. This is why I had like a, I had a struggle. The first 20 hours I played of this game was nothing but me struggling. <laughs> and the last 80 have been also struggling. There's too many. Where do they keep coming from? I swear to God. I swear to God. I just want to be happy. And this game is taking that away from me. There's so many. Ah. Uh, I need something. I need anything that's not a freaking screwdriver. Literally. Climb through. Close window, get lucky, please, find a hammer, find anything. Anything else that is not a hammer or a frying pan or something is useless. How much dirt? Oh, it's How much? Oh, it's at full. Okay, equip, equip that primary. I think you can hit two zombies at once with a frying pan, so that's actually a good bonus for us. I believe, oh god. There. That was so scary. <laughs> no, stop. Oh, oh my God. No, I, I set off an alarm. I had to have set off an alarm because there's no way. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, well, great. I'm never going to be able to go that way again. There's going to be like freaking 150 zombies just chilling over there. Oh, I screwed up. Oh, I screwed up. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I, I swear to God, I promise, the whole entire video will not just be me panicking. I swear to you. I'm gonna try, man. But it's really hard. Oh, are you freaking... I, you know what? You know what? No, fine. Let's do it. Fine. Come on. I ain't mad. I ain't mad. Let's do it. Come on. Let's do it. Let's do it right now. You know what? You think you think you're better than me, zombies? Yeah. Do it right now. Right now. Yeah. Come here. Taste my lightning. Oh, there's a lot. There's a lot, and I'm starting to get exerted. I'm scared now. <laughs> I'm scared. Oh, oh! I just want to not die. So bad. Is that house alarm was debilitating? I think. Depending on, because I'm going to absolutely die. Depending on where I respawn, though, I think this map might be ruined <laughs> already. I've only played for, like, ten minutes. Don't let it be ruined already. Come on, climb through, bro. Climb through. Do it. Close the window, bro. Go upstairs, man. Go upstairs. Go upstairs. Go upstairs. Shut yourself in a door somewhere. Don't let them come in. That's the key. Please be a hammer. A du duct tape. Thank you, game. You know what? I don't even want the duct tape at this point. Screw that. I want to just not die. <laughs> and that ain't going to be happening anytime soon, now, is it? If I find a gun in here, I might just pop a round or two off. If I can find a gun, I'll pop a round. No! I died. I'm dead. I'm, I'm dead. They've killed me. I'm going to let it happen. Oh, you can't even hear his screaming because he's dead. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> poor man. <laughs> oh God. Oh, oh, you poor, poor man. Eight hours, man. All I did for eight hours was run around like a loon. Okay, let's try this again. <laughs> My, I spawned in the trailer park. I can be mad at that a little bit, but I'm not super. 
As long as they give me a weapon, a weapon I can use. And no, not a plunger. A plunger is not a freaking weapon. You can use it as a weapon, but it breaks in like two hits. I've tried it before. It was really funny. <laughs> okay, so we didn't find a weapon at all. Like none. So I'm going to step outside and probably get squashed into little tiny bite-sized pieces. I see this one single zombie. I can take out a single zombie. I can do that. Nope, there's an... I can see another one coming. Oh, uh, don't play the music. Stop playing the music. Please. What if I asked you really, really nicely, game, to not play that music? Which inevitably means I'm probably gonna die. Okay, come on. Let's do this, Hoop to Scotch. Having a strength that's, like, nearly maxed out is so nice. I'm so worried about setting off house alarms now, because I know it's gonna happen. <laughs> and I'm just gonna be incredibly impressed. No, back to front door. I got bit. I got bit. Are you serious? <laughs> I am going to stomp on your skull until you are dead. Yeah, okay, that was an actual... But You know what? Nope. You know what? No. I'm not even going to give my character the satisfaction of living that long. I'm just going to go let this one die. Two minutes in and I'm bit. What the hell? Hello, friends. It's me. Your soon-to-be zombie friend. Oh, God. Bitten, bleeding, laceration, bleeding, scratched, laceration, bleeding, scratch, bitten, bleeding, laceration, bleeding, bitten, bleeding, bitten, bleeding, infected, bitten, bleeding. Oh, <sighs> critical damage. I'm in agony. Highly terminal, terminal damage. Oops. Oops, I've gone terminal. <laughs> Why is the pinball wizard a lumberjack? That's a good question. I'm going to leave it completely unanswered. And I'm going to eat this whole entire bunch of grapes. See, pinball wizard doesn't die. He gets reincarnated as the next pinball wizard. And it's terrifying. I don't want to worry about grabbing freaking books and magazines yet. Oh my god. We did it. We did it, boys. We're in the clear. This baseball bat changes everything. He's ready to take on the world. It's not an axe, but, you know, if I can find a hammer and some nails, it'll be good enough, I suppose. You know what? I need to be a lot more careful when I just walk into rooms. I can't hear the zombies that are inevitably going to be in rooms at one point. Be very careful. Intermediate. It's always intermediate mechanics. I never get the basic mechanic book, so I can never work on basic cars. And let me tell you, not being able to work on basic cars, but being able to work on intermediate cars is the silliest thing I've ever heard in my gosh dang life. Oh my god, wait. Can I wear a bikini? <sighs> you know what? I'll save that for another day. I don't want to. I don't want to wear a bikini right now. Crossword box of jars. You know what? Actually, that would that'll be nice to have at some point. But I just don't want to pick it up right now. Maybe I should mark that. Maybe I should mark it on the map. Depends though. I, I I'm only gonna keep playing this if y'all want to see me keep playing it. So if you have, if you're enjoying the terrifying experience that my deaf and short-sighted character is having. <laughs> Let me know in the comments, because I told I definitely wanna I definitely wanna make a thing of this. This is funny. <laughs> I believe it's nearing nighttime. I don't know. I don't have a watch. Or a clock. Somebody's been here. Was it me? Was I already here at one point? Oh no. Uh, we're not getting that open, are we? Didn't think so. Well, smashy time. God, I hope that didn't set off an alarm. Cause if it did, we're all gonna die. Oh, Oh, there's so much good loot. Um, you know what? I'll take... I will take... Do I want the crowbar? No, I want the hammer. Even though the crowbar is better than the hammer. I want the hammer so I can find some nails. And that saw, too, because now I can tear down some of this fence and maybe get some nails. That's a really bad idea to probably do right now, but... How many nails do I need? I need five nails and a hammer. Okay, this is probably going to make more than enough noise in game. Like, it, it's not making noise because my character's deaf, obviously. But I hope it doesn't make enough noise to draw zombies to my location. I mean, if it does, that's okay. Not really. I'm just saying that, but, it, you, you know. You know, I will say there's one good thing about playing a deaf character in Project Zomboid. And that is the fact that it makes you play it a lot safer. I haven't really been playing it safe because starting out can be really, really difficult no matter what. 
and considering I really haven't done any sneaking in this game, I don't actually know how to do it very well. But, um, you have to play so careful, so carefully and meticulously, and that ends up helping you in the long run once you're done playing a deaf character. I think my longest, we have five nails, my longest deaf character lasted nearly a month. I was super happy, and he didn't even die because, like, he didn't even die because he was deaf. Like, it wasn't because, like, I couldn't hear something. I just accidentally didn't let go of the aim button while I tried sprinting away. <laughs> uh, and that doesn't cancel it out. So, I, I got bit and died, and it was sad. I could do bad life decisions and move up a house to see if I can find a clock at least. This bat will keep me pretty well and protect. Going too much further up this road is going to get me super dead. I'm going to die super badly. Is this the house that I originally spawned in? No, oh, must not be. That or I must have exited through something that wasn't a window. The lock busted. That one didn't. Close those curtains. We don't want them. We don't want them knowing I'm here. Gotta slow down their progress. By that I mean, just don't let them know we're here. Um, okay. Oh, there's a zombie. Ah! Oh my god, that scared the crap out of me! <laughs> Why you gotta be like, did that my- Did my bat break? Are you kidding me? Uh, but but why? Are you kidding me? I didn't even I didn't check to see what its condition was. Oh my god! Ah. Uh. Whew. This is one of the few games that still just absolutely terrifies me after how many hours I put into it so far. Whenever a zombie is like sitting there, it just scares. Oh god, it scares the crap out of me, man. Terrible idea. I'm gonna do it though. I would rather kill what zombies are here right now and deal with the repercussions later. That was so terrifying. Why did the game do me like that? Why is the game gotta do me dirty, okay? I'm just a poor deaf lad. <laughs> I'm so, I am so mad about the bat breaking that quickly. Is it maybe because my carpentry sucks and I tried to put nails in it? That might be it. So it might be on me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that it's not though, because why would I ever want to put the blame on myself? Uh, we're gonna wear this front fanny pack, because that's funny. I think this might be a good place to leave it for this episode. Because... Well, A, it's nighttime, and B, I'm hitting the mark for my recording, so. <laughs> that was really fun. This game is so gosh darn fun. But playing as a deaf character is difficult. I mean, like, the whole entire, this character is pretty much completely based off of being deaf. It is the most debilitating thing, aside from maybe obese as a trait that you can pick. But I just love the idea of this slightly blind completely deaf man wearing this crazy getup going out and beating up zombies and making nail bats that he breaks into hits for some reason so if you want to see more of pinball wizards adventures let me know in the comments leave a like because it helps me out and if you're new to the channel subscribe i'd love to have you around we have a lot of fun here whenever i upload which will be a lot more often so you want to see pinball wizard Stick around, hopefully there'll be more, and until next time, stay safe out there, and peace out.